Dan? Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. Just sawing through some CDs. What, in the dark? They sound better in the dark. Have you never done that? No, not really. There, how about? Yeah, she is. Mmm, nice. Am I? Sorry. Why aren't you down the club? Oh, we had to close up a bit early. How come? Cat beat up one of the clients. What do you think you're doing? That's Sharon's address book. Zoe and Cat are going to need a brief. Let them get their own brief. I dread to think what they've cost us tonight. Zoe's going to be expecting me. And how long is that going to take? Don't know. Depends how cooperative they are. Well, they won't interview them for ages. They'll wait till they've sobered up. If you go down there now, you'll be sitting there all night. Sounds like somebody doesn't want me to go. I no, do what you want. Doesn't bother me. I'm just trying to save you a wasted journey. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll go in an hour or so. I'll get you a drink. Where's Sharon and Vicky in bed? I don't think so. Not they in here. Look, don't worry about them. Just tell me what happened. I'm going to give them a call, make sure they're all right. They've probably only just touched down. Touched down? I've gone on holiday. What, just like that? Oh, uh, that's women for you. What did they say? Nothing. When I got back, they'd gone. So how do you know where they are? They left a note. Where? I've chucked it. Oh, don't go through the bins. It'll be at the bottom. Gone to get some sun. I hope you don't forget us too. It's about Chrissy, right? What have you done? Oh, don't start nagging me. I want to know what happened. Why? Because they're my sisters and I want to know if you've upset them. All right, I've upset them. What do you do? Nothing. Don't mess me about then. I didn't do anything. They nagged me all day to get in touch with Chrissy. I didn't, so they upped and left. Teach me a lesson. Why didn't you phone Chrissy? Oh, do you care? Yeah. Really, really care? Because if I was in your shoes, I couldn't care less. Look, there's no shame in admitting that you miss her. I haven't given her a second's thought. Then why are you sitting in the dark drinking wine listening to sad songs? Because I told you I was going through her CDs. More room for mine. Oh, no, you're absolutely right, son. You're accountable to no one but yourself. I was exactly the same when I was your age, a thousand years ago. Do you want to talk about it? Not really, do you? Well, I can see I'm banging my head against a brick wall. I'm going to go. No, don't go. Look, when I was your age, my dad took me to one side and said, you best watch yourself. You're far too cocky for your own good. You think there's no one in this world but yourself. And you know something? He was absolutely right. Cheers. Look, I love you three more than anything in the world, but women, they come and go. They free will, whatever. Do you know what I mean? I do, but I don't believe you. Where are we going? Fishing. Like every father and son should. Well, you could have finished tidying up. I was on my own. Well, come on, give us a hand. What are we doing down there, anyway? We're open for business, mate. I'm going to pull. Hey? Watch me. Don't fancy yours much. Sorry, guys. Private party. Nice tie, though. Why don't you just go home and have some rest? No, the first woman that comes down there, I am going to pull. What do you think Sharon and Vicky would say about that? Well, they're not here, are they? What, are you gonna grass me off? Don't look at me like that. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. Yeah, well, you can do it on your own. Your little lady's banged up for the night. It's perfect. She's never gonna catch you. Are you serious? Oh, I keep forgetting you're a new man. You've turned your back on the old you. Yeah, well, I am trying to make a new start. What? Nothing. Look, if the shoe was on the other foot, do you think she's gonna be running around trying to get you out? Of course not. She's gonna be down there slagging you off, saying, oh, he told me he'd change, now he's let me down. I'm not saying you don't get her out eventually, but not just right now. Enjoy yourself. Watching you make a fool of yourself, I don't think so. All oh, right, off you go. Play houses with your little lady. It's not worth it. I've lived it. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just row after row. Why do you think men have sheds? Wash cars on Sunday, play golf. Don't get sucked into that. So we're playing this game again, are we? What game? 
You've got one trick and you do it very well, but it doesn't baffle me anymore, so stop trying to pull my strings. We're just talking. Look, Dan, please. Let's not go through this rigmarole again. If you're lonely and you want some company, why don't you just ask me to stay? Oh, I wish your granddad was here to have a word with you. I'm still gonna pull. So what'd you see in her? She's gorgeous. Do you love her? We have a good time. That's not what I asked. Do you love Chrissy? <laughs> Love's a myth cooked up by women to keep men in touch. <sighs> No, it's true. Look, women are different. They've got all these baby hormones rattling around inside of them. Men ain't built for monogamy, yet they feed us these lines to keep us docile. Express yourself, be in touch with your feminine side, moisturise. Quite the feminist, aren't you? I adore women. That's why I find it hard to be with just one. Excuses for adultery number 43. <sighs> I'm not saying you shouldn't have these feelings when you meet a nice girl, but we all know what those feelings are. Love is, as they say, for the birds. And the reason this big conspiracy by women for women goes on is because men like us, well, you, put up with it. You're rambling now. What's your point? <sighs> My point is, do what you want. Be a new man if you think it's important. See, I don't remember saying I wanted to be a new anything. But you have. You moved on. You've turned your back on your old self. I'm still mean. Right, let's put it to the test, shall we? At any time in this relationship, have you discussed furniture? Well, that doesn't prove anything. Moving in together. She has. Slippery slope. Ah, you're just a cynic. And so are you. No, not anymore. So you're in for a long run with Zoe, then? We'll see. Before you know it, it'll be nappies and long discussions about pain. Why are you so upset about it? I thought you, of all people, would be up for it. Oh, I want you to enjoy your life, but just be careful. <sighs> OK, so I had an affair and got caught. That ain't the first time. It'll soon blow over. And what about Chrissy? Well, she'll either come back or she won't. And you'll be happy either way? Yeah. Seen a new side of you tonight. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> Hello, girls. What can we get you? So you're from Leighton? I know it well. Is the ice rink still there? Yeah, we used to go. I bet you had all the boys falling over, didn't you? <laughs> What's wrong with her? Why ain't there no one else here? It's a very exclusive club. Sure, it ain't just rubbish. Ooh, someone's in a bad mood. Ignore her. She got dumped last night. That's it. Tell everyone my secrets. I'm going home. Oh, hold up. Don't be so hasty. You're having a good time, aren't you? You two are. I'm just playing gooseberry. So what do you think of him? He's all right. Does he work for you? Yeah, well, actually, he's my brother. Really? Looks a lot younger than you. Do you take her everywhere? She's got a big mouth. She can't help herself. Shut <laughs> up! You think you're all good drinking champagne with Peter Stringfellow here? Oi, a joke's a joke. Peter's got nothing on me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll get some clean glasses, I'll open up a decent bottle of champagne and I might bring you back something to put a... or to cheer you up. Come and give us a hand, her mate's getting bored. Well, tell her a joke then. Just come over, pay her a few compliments. You don't have to mean it. I'm with someone. Then what are you doing here? You just have to talk to him. You don't have to marry him. It's just a giggle. Look, I thought you wanted a mate. But now I see you've got a couple of them, I'm going to go home. Look, you think I'm doing this just to prove a point to myself? Well, maybe you're right. But when we're at our lowest, you turn to what you know, understand? Look, you're my son. We shouldn't have to play politics. We should be allowed to be who we are without the other one passing judgment. But you make judgments all the time. On me, on my life. That's before I knew you. You're a good bloke. One of us. So what are you saying? All I'm saying is, tonight it's just been me and you. And we've had a good time, haven't we? Yeah. So it's another step forward for us. We know each other better. I'm only doing this to keep you out of trouble, right? Good point. Dennis. 